Welcome to the Smart Zone demonstration series for Release 5.0. In this series, we'll be covering the new features available in Release 5.0. In this particular demonstration, I'll be covering the northbound data streaming feature. This feature, formerly called SCI in the Smart Zone user interface, allows the streaming of data from access points to a northbound platform for data collection and analysis. In addition to the name change in the UI, with the Release 5.0, data can now be selectively streamed based on domains or zones. So let's get started. So here we have my Virtual Smart Zone. Uh, it's a high scale release of Virtual Smart Zone, which also comes in the Essentials Edition. Uh, the feature we're going to cover here is available in both the high scale and the Essentials and on the hardware appliance, although there are some differences between the high scale and the Essentials version because the Essentials version doesn't allow domains to be configured under the primary system domain. Uh, but we'll show you how that functionality works in the high scale because it has the more flexible and uh, more options for how to configure this feature. So let's go ahead and log in. So once this comes up, the first thing I'm going to want to draw your attention to is in the system info section, uh, where we see that this is version 5.0.0.0.675. This is the initial GA release of Smart Zone version 5.0, and this is the first release to come out that supports these features. So let's take a look at what I have configured here before we get started. So under wireless lands, uh, when this comes up, I'm going to show you my domain configuration here because it's going to help me show some of the flexibility of how we enable uh, this northbound data streaming feature. So I have a lab domain with two zones and a production domain with three zones in it. So that'll come into play as we configure this in a minute and we'll start that now. So when we go over to configure northbound data streaming, we do that from the system tab over here on the left under general settings and we'll move over to the northbound data streaming tab. Now this tab used to be called SCI in the previous release. The change was made because SmartZone now sends AP data to northbound listeners using Google Protocol Buffer or GPB. And this allows for the forwarding of non-SCI listeners as long as they support GPB. So we enable it here by clicking the enable box, but before we can enable it, we need to create a profile or basically a northbound server uh, the device that's going to listen to our AP data. So we'll go ahead and create that now. And I have one here. We're just going to call it uh, lab SCI and the host is and the port is 8883 users admin. The system ID is our lab SCI 14. Okay, so we're ready to go here. So now we've configured our northbound data streaming device. Uh, this is where we're going to forward AP data to. You're only allowed to configure one of these in Virtual Smart Zone. So let's go ahead and enable it now. So once we've enabled it, the new thing we show here is that we can enable it for all domains and all zones or we can do uh, GPB data by domain or zone. So we'll click this box to allow that functionality. So basically you're seeing the same information I just showed you about our zone configuration in Smart Zone. We've got our lab domain with two zones and our production domain with three zones. So here's how this works. You're going to click on either a domain or a zone and you're going to enable the feature. So if I enable the feature here on this domain, it's enabled for the entire domain. Now I could go down here to a zone and still enable it in a zone, but it won't change the functionality. So if you look at zone one, zone one currently does not have streaming enabled on it, but because it is enabled at the domain level, the domain level configuration overrides anything configured at the zone level or a subdomain level under this domain. So by enabling it at this domain level, all APs within this domain whether those zones or subdomains have GPB data enabled, uh, they will forward data to the virtual smart zone or the third party uh, GPB listener. Now, uh, another example here is we can do it by zone. So if we look at the domain here, the production domain does not have this feature enabled yet, but I can enable it on a per zone basis. So I can enable it on zone one and zone three, and those would be enabled for this functionality to work and only zone one and only zone three would forward and stream data uh, upstream to the northbound data streaming service. 
So that's the nutshell of how this feature works. We click OK to save all these changes and allow that configuration to take effect. And once we do that, all of the APs in the lab domain and then the two zones in the production domain will begin streaming data to the GPB uh, data streaming appliance upstream. So that sums up the new northbound data streaming configuration feature in version 5.0. The big gain here is that this is now able to be enabled on a subdomain or subzone basis. So you can configure it individually per domain or per zone. Or again, you could click the all button and forward it to and forward data from APs from all domains and all zones within the system uh, to the northbound data streaming service. Remember that this demonstration is part of a series of demonstrations for new features in release 5.0, so please come back and take a look at the other demonstrations in this series. I hope this information was helpful to you and hope to see you back for more demonstrations in the future. Thank you.